Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to measure the amperage in a circuit. Right here we have a basic series circuit, my source, switch, load, and the conductors. And to measure your amperage, um, you're going to need a multimeter. Set it on amperage, make sure you change your positive lead to the amp port. And when you measure amperage in a circuit, I always like to say you amputate. You don't want to use it uh, as a voltmeter because then you'll blow the fuse in your meter. So you're going to want to amputate the circuit, disconnect, and you're going to want to put your multimeter in line with the circuit. So I'm going to connect these real quick. Okay, so now my meter is in line with the circuit. I amputated it. Now it's part of the ground. When I turn the switch on, the light still works. And now I have my amp reading, 1.9 amps. And that's how you get the amperage in a circuit. So, um, my meter has a 10 amp fuse, so that basically means I can only measure circuits up to 10 amps. If there's high resistance, then the amperage will be higher than what it was intended for, and my meter's fuse would blow. So if you're working on a radiator cooling fan circuit, electric fans, and the fuse is a 30 amp, obviously you don't want to use a 10 amp meter to measure the amperage in that circuit or the fuse is going to blow. They sell amp clamps that are capable of going up to four, five, six hundred amps for those purposes. Clamps over the wire and it inductively tells you how much amps is running through the circuit. So you're going to need one of those if you want to do higher amp circuits. But for basic circuits like this that are running on one amp, two amp, low amperage, then you can use your multimeter. So that's how you measure the amperage in a circuit. Thanks.